we thought we'd take a minute and share a few of the things we've learned today about uh, about working in the snow and ice. One, it's easy to do dishes. Snow <laughs> makes a great abrasive. Chicken dishes, not people dishes. Yeah, so we crushed up a bunch of hard-boiled eggs for the chickens and put them in that bucket, and now she's using the snow to clean it out. Yeah, we also use the snow to cool the eggs down after we boiled them. Typically, when we do a big egg boil, we um, fill an ice chest full of ice water, but we have to buy bags of ice to keep that much water cold for as long as we do. We do multiple dozens of eggs. Um, but we just used snow, and the snow kept the water so much colder than ice. So that was a cool thing. We've also learned that even though it's below freezing, you can get rain, which isn't frozen. But it's not really rain, it's more mist. And it puts a crust over the snow. So we have a crust, it's like walking on a, well that didn't work, a giant creme brulee. It's a crust that you break before you get in the snow. It's just odd. We don't live where it's white in the winter. It's usually brown. So this is a huge treat to have it not ugly. It's beautiful. Well, brown isn't ugly, but it's just muddy and it's messy. And our boots, when we come in from doing all the chores, are clean. It's amazing. Well, the downside is we're not, um, infrastructure is not set up for this kind of cold for this long. So there's a lot of people that have had power outages and we can't get on the roads. <clears throat> we don't have salt. We don't have snow plows. We don't, I think they put sand out occasionally. I think on the freeways, they have a chemical they put out, but who can get to a freeway right now? I mean, if you don't have to, you shouldn't because there's lots of wrecks and lots of lots of problems on that end of things but as far as just if you don't have to go anywhere and you can stay at your house <clears throat> of course stay in if you don't have to get out but if you have to get out you can overdress that's another thing i learned yesterday i was so overdressed i was roasting i had to peel off layers so today i just wore a couple of layers not four um it's just interesting yesterday was in single digits today we're 20s, 20s. so uh, but today seems colder because we have no sun that's another thing yesterday even though it got down to single digits it got up to the teens might have been in lower 20s at the height of the day i don't know but things were melting if there was any um, like footprints on our concrete driveway were melting a little bit and there's a hose that's black and it had water coming out of it this morning i mean an icicle coming out of it so those are just things you don't really think about when you're not in northern climate when northern climate comes down to visit <laughs> <laughs> you learn things but that is that is um there's some inconveniences it makes for us, like when we feed the chickens, hauling water and getting their feed to them and stuff yeah. is a little harder. Yeah, makes it harder. But cleaning their buckets out is kind of, has made it a little bit easier. Now the snow's been sitting in here for a little bit. It's, um, it doesn't seem dirty anymore. The snow's not pretty anymore either, but. It'd be a lot easier to rinse out in the kitchen now, right? Yeah, yeah, extremely much easier, but. Maybe, those... maybe people should also think about when they have weather like this for their power outages and for water when the pump stations go out that they have an alternate source of heating and an alternate source of water. Yeah, there's a pump station not too far from us that's out. So there's a bunch of people that don't have water right now. Um, including my son who's on duty as a firefighter <laughs> station so, they're melting so don't snow. catch your house on fire the only water they have is what's on their truck well except all the snow they're melting snow to put in the toilet tanks so they can flush the toilets <laughs> so that's another thing i mean you got to learn how can you use the snow to benefit 
the things that are. It was interesting watching them do that this morning, that the uh, they built a whole bucket full of uh, snow, and then after they melted it down, they had like two inches of water. Well, in yeah, the pot. it takes a lot of snow. It takes a lot, a lot, lot of lot snow of to snow. make much water. Yeah, yeah. But those are some of the pros and cons of when the northern climate comes down to visit. We're in, we're just south of Dallas in Texas, and this is definitely not typical. Definitely. But it's, it's, it's okay. But we learn to adapt quickly. Yeah, we have a wood burning fireplace, so that's nice at night. We can, we can fire that up when it gets colder, colder. The, um, the other, it did get down to zero the other day, so that was a record for this area. And um, there's some places have opened up, like our church has opened up for people at the warming station. So if people have lost their power, they can go there. But, what, was a, what was another um, new heat source we gained that we learned about? Oh, the Aladdin lamp? The Aladdin lamp. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Um, it is a thing. Not We don't rub it and we don't wish. It's, <laughs> it's, a, 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 um, it's not kerosene either. It's clean fuel. Yeah. It's like a kerosene lamp, only it doesn't smell like kerosene. And it, it gets really hot. You can't like put your hand over the chimney. Well, right over the chimney, it's like a thousand degrees. It'll light a match right over the chimney. It's very cool. And we got one last summer just because we wanted it and it's come in handy. So I can't think of anything else that I've learned, but as soon as you turn off the camera, I'm sure I will. No, we'll just have to add to the video. It's a winter wonderland outside. Let's it see what's is. going on in the greenhouse. Yeah, it's spring. Well, almost everything you can see our our market garden fields. They're just they're just completely under ice and snow. Maybe that's a good thing. Which yeah, maybe oh, that's another good thing. Last year at this time we had leaves. We have big trees and see big trees, and they have lots of leaves. And every winter we just have piles and piles of leaves that get blown up. And the squash bugs, or some people call them stink bugs, whatever those nasty bugs are that eat my squash plants, they live all winter long in, in the leaves. We've, we found them. Anyway, maybe they'll die this year. The bugs, maybe we will have a good, less spidery season of less mosquitoes and less squash bugs. Yeah, less harmful insects would be good. And less potato bugs, not bugs. Potato beetles, potato I don't beetles. know. They eat my tomato, potato plants. Colorado potato beetle, is that what they call them? All right. So maybe that's good. So, yeah. move our doorstop to the greenhouse if I can get it unstuck from the ground. Oh We're gonna have to shovel snow out of the front of the door. Alright, so we made it into the greenhouse, looking at the plants first that are down on the on the floor of the greenhouse. They're the, a little droopy. They're a little droopy. We're wondering if maybe the fumes or vapors from the heat, the propane heat, is uh, making them uh, not happy. But overall, they're not frozen, they're not dead. The daikon radishes look great. The French breakfast radishes are looking good, starting to get little bulbs on them. Cabbage the, isn't so hot. Yeah, the cabbage is looking really wilted, so I'm not sure what's up with that. The Asian greens, those are looking nice in here, so we've got some Asian greens. Another difference is we're not watering the same. We usually have our hose on a mister and we or a sprayer. It doesn't really mist. But um so we've been bringing water out in buckets to water. Yeah, we've had to water with buckets. But uh, bec because we were but concerned, we could smell the fumes in here from this heater being on all night. We've opened one of the doors, so we're, we won't asphyxiate ourselves in here. <laughs> but greens nice. are looking good. The kohlrabi is starting to get little bulbs on it. It looks good. But oddly enough, brassicas like the uh, aspara broccoli. broccoli and the cabrizi broccoli, those are not looking good. They're, 
they should be hardier in cold weather, but they're pretty wilty. But it, did, it was 100 degrees in here the other day when the sun was shining. Yeah, it's Maybe not. Maybe that's a little confusing <coughs> for them. The ants look happy. Yeah, the ants in here are happy. Spinach is looking good. Bok choy looks nice. The beets are okay. The beets are okay. They're a little wilty as well. And the carrots look good. Slightly wilted. And we also have some uh, salad mix in here. And the salad mix along the edge is looking pretty good. So all that is nice. We still have all our seedlings and stuff. They're covered up. We've got two oil heaters underneath with um, the Agribond over it. It's an oil radiator. Yeah, oil radi heat radiators. Yes. So it's keeping the, around low. 60. Our thermometer is actually under there too. And last time we looked at it this morning, it was about 60. Yeah. But, but now we have to lots get of ice. the ice off of the plastic. As far as we can rake, you just kind of rake it and it comes right down. And that will help warm it up too. A lot more sunlight in if we get yeah. some of the ice off. I need, I don't want to really poke the... No, we don't want to poke anything. It's like a big balloon in here right now. A lot of condensation. There's water droplets falling off of this a lot. Also. It's our overhead watering system. There you go. Overhead watering. A new, a new way to do it. I need your help. Look at the seeds from that tree outside. Yeah. We wonder why some seeds come up in our gardens because of the trees. But all in all, learning how to survive and keep things uh, alive and well in a greenhouse over the winter yep. has uh, been a fun experiment and we're learning a great deal about how to do this in cold weather. Yeah, so Northern Climate came down for a visit. It Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, on Saturday we should be in the 30s. Um, and Sunday high is 50 something. Yeah, so we'll so make our swing back, back the home. other direction. Yeah. Northern climate will be going back home. I shouldn't joke because people up north are having even way worse time. Yeah. I think it gives us a new appreciation for the people that live in northern climates and how they have to deal with this all the time. Yeah. For months yep. on end. Yep. And um, it makes me uh, get a little mental list of things I might want in case this might happen again. Prepare for it better next time. Yeah, for better next time. Awesome. <laughs>